Hello everyone, it's Delincy. Thank you so much, Francesco, for having me on the channel. In this video, I will be talking about how to optimize your workspace for maximum productivity. Francesco will be featuring on my channel and he will be talking about the best apps for high school, college, and university students to help you organize your activities. So make sure to check out his video. Francesco has a lot of great videos about all kinds of different apps so you can learn to use them to their full potential. I learned a lot about Evernote. I did not know that app could do so much. Make sure to check out his channel, and if you like this video and you like my face, head over to my channel in the description box down below, and make sure to check out my other videos, because there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff. So my very first tip is to purge your workspace. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I love, love minimalism, and I think that every major productivity change starts with purging your workspace and getting rid of things you don't really need. Make sure to put away or throw away the things that don't serve you a purpose and only keep the things on and in your desk that you really truly need. For me that means I only have a notebook and my laptop and a pen and maybe a cup of coffee because caffeine on my desk because that's the only thing I really need to be productive and to be working. So I recognize most of us don't have the luxury of having a completely separate room to working but if you can try to segment off your workspace from your chill space as I like to call it. Refrain from working in front of the TV, on the couch or in bed. I noticed that as soon as I had a dedicated space for working, for being productive, I was getting a lot more done because as soon as I was sitting down in that space, my head was just kind of, you know, getting in a productive mode. I also tell myself that I cannot leave my workspace and go to my chill space before I have all my work done and completed my entire to-do list. So that also helps to be productive. If you work on a desk and you find yourself constantly readjusting, having back pain, having neck pain, it can be really hard to stay focused. So make sure you have a correctly fitted chair and table. The most important things are to keep your feet on the floor and have your computer screen just below eye level. Now I have an antique desk that I really just can't part with so I bought a laptop stand to kind of bring my laptop up a little bit so it's just more on eye level. Honestly those were the best 15 euros I've ever spent. <laughs> Decluttering your desktop. Don't just declutter your physical space, declutter your digital space. Nobody can be productive when they have tens of thousands of things on their computer that they don't really need. Screenshots, files, documents, PDFs, all that jazz. I make it a point to sit down every Sunday and to go through all of my files and my entire desktop and then get rid of everything I don't need so I can start a new week fresh. To add to that, if you have a bunch of files that you don't really need but you still want to keep for whatever reason, keep them on an external hard drive. I don't know why, but there's something about having the files on an actual external device instead of your computer that makes it a lot easier for me to feel organized. Of course, you can also use a cloud storage option like Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. I do that too, but more as a backup. Depending on where you work, it could be an office, your bedroom, a dorm room, the noise level can vary greatly. But make no mistake, the noise level can definitely affect your productivity and your stress levels and frustration levels. Depending on your setting, you might be able to cancel out the background noise with instrumental music or put one of those YouTube videos on that mimic the sound of a coffee shop. It's said to help with productivity and concentration and it does work for me. Thank you so much for having me on the channel, Francesco. I really appreciate it. Make sure to check out his other videos and subscribe to him. If you like this video, make sure to head over to my channel and subscribe to me as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!